there. <laughs> Sorry, you just caught me steaming my backdrop for my self-tape setup. Hashtag actor's life. Hashtag quarantine life. Hashtag actor in quarantine life. Am I right? Okay. Well, let's just turn this off for the time being. So I can officially welcome you to the Homemade Sketch Show. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jeanette Bonner, your host. It is Friday night. We've I think it's Friday night. Oh my God, is it Friday? I think it's Friday because yesterday was Thursday. I, I mean, I, mm, hang on two seconds. I'm just gonna check really quick, hang on. Yes, we're good, we're good. It is Friday, it is a time to celebrate because you made it through that crappy week. And we have some phenomenal sketches and some great music for you tonight. Thank you for having me as your host. I was really excited to um, put on a dress, <laughs> like a real dress with like a zipper, like one that hung on a hanger, you know? It's really exciting. I know, I'm really excited that I can fit into it too. Although, you know, uh, the, the zipper part is like very strategically in the back, um, which you're uh, definitely not gonna see. But regardless, like, it was a celebration for me to uh, put on some makeup, you know, lipstick. A little lipstick gets um, on the inside of the mask, which I learned the hard way. And, oh, and I put on earrings, which I definitely don't do, like on the regular, that was kind of exciting. And, and, and I did my hair, you know, cause like regularly I just sort of, you know, just sort of maybe don't brush it or whatever. Cause I know what I look like with brushed hair. So like, who cares? Like no one's, here to see me um, with unbrushed hair and um, in my pajamas all day. So regardless, I'm really excited to uh, look like a regular human being for a couple hours. Um, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I, I know it is uh, hard to uh, watch yet another show on your screen. It's not ideal, but I've noticed, you know, from all my own screen time, a um, couple things, maybe some trends, uh, and I decided to put together a little, a little reel for you of, um, of some bad Zoom etiquette. I'm gonna call it, don't be that guy. Take a look. Oh, hi. Uh, uh, no, no, I, I, I've been awake. I, I'm, I'm totally awake. Um, just, um, you know, I just haven't like taken a shower yet today. Um, but I, I, I've been like awake for hours, so don't, I'm worried, you know, about me. Yeah, yeah, I think I agree with Sam. I think if you take a look at some of the budgets from uh, the last quarter and uh, some of the reports that were established, you'll, what? I'm, I might, I'm, I'm wearing clothes? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking wearing clothes. What, did you think I would really show up to this Zoom meeting naked? This is, that's disgusting. Hey guys, I'm here. Sorry I'm a little late. Um, what's happening, what'd I miss? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Yeah, 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 I agree with all of that, that's great. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I stop my video for a little bit. You don't need to see me. Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. Right? Like, don't be that guy. Like, maybe take a shower before you show up or like wear a shirt with sleeves that everybody can see or like, I don't know, maybe sit up in bed so we don't have to look up your nostrils. Things like that. Just like a few tips and tricks from me to you for your optimal Zoom meetings. We are so excited to have you here with us tonight. I mean, not like with us, obviously. Like I'm not with you right now. You're not with me either. <laughs> but you know, you know how they always say like, like you're not alone in all of this, but like you really are alone in all this, like every day, maybe, like me, like I'm like constantly alone every day per four 
five months. Um, <laughs> you know, like, like that. Um, you know, so we are with each other today and let's not think about how alone we, we really, really are. Um, and let's have a great time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Homemade Sketch Show. Yay! Take me seriously, America. How did I get here? Not drugs, I swear. Hey, how y'all doing? This is the spirit of Idris Elba. And yes, I did say the spirit because it's obviously not the body, but the spirit speaks regardless. It's, it's, that's what the deal is. So look, I'm not going to mince no words. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about black Brits taking over black American roles. Uh, especially of historical figures. Uh, I'm feeling a bit left out. We got Daniel Kaluuya playing Fred Hampton in that upcoming movie which looks bonkers. We got Chiwetel Ejiofor who played a slave for 12 years. Very Daniel Day-Lewis of him. Uh, Cynthia Revo got to like put on wigs and run around as Harriet Tubman. And Lupita, like she got... Wait, Lupita isn't British, is she? You Americans all need to put a little more respect on my name because I play a badass Baltimore dude and really convincing like in The Wire. Like I was quintessential African American bruv, hustling the best way a brother knows how, drugs. Uh, I'm not saying that the only way to be quintessential African American is to be involved in the drug game. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But I am saying I play that role pretty, pretty bloody well bruv. And uh, I think I can take on a little Frederick Douglass, okay? Anyway, uh, look, the whole point of this is to say I'm putting together a couple of audition tapes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hook me up with some drugs, man. <laughs> oh, what do you mean, you an undercover cop? Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, no, man, I wasn't trying to get no drugs. I'm black and I'm proud. I'm Jane Brown. You can't do this to me, man. Look at that little rabbit. Look at the rabbit there. Blame the rabbit, damn it. Look at it. Three, baby, go. You know, people have asked me the cause. What in the world was I thinking when I decided to be the face of Jello pudding and pudding pops and whatnot? Because that's just what the cause that the cause is about. I'm not going to endorse some type of liquor or drugs or something crazy like that that would imply that we are altering people's states of consciousness. But that's not the cause, that's not the cause that the cause is about. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I feel too good to, to do drugs. <laughs> I mean, I got Put a little show on me. So make love good. <laughs> hey, so you can go on and have your opinions and whatnot, and you can go on and think that I'm crazy, but I am a miracle dad, and <laughs> I feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the pudding and the pudding and the jello pops and the pudding and the pudding and the jello pops and the pudding. Okay, because. He already made a James Brown movie, didn't he? Damn it! I got my hair permed and everything. Whatever. I could play a black American figure. I could do it. Take me seriously. I'm serious. Take me seriously, America. No! No pass by boy! No. No, 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 no. Go away, bye, bye, bye. You dead man walking! No! No! No, go away! No, go away! Fly open! No! No dickness, man! No brainness. Poor mommy, dad. You smell like a dirty old lady. Hey guys, Tippy here, and welcome to another episode of my show, Tippy Tips. 
My mom told me I need to clean my room first before I do another episode of my show. And I said, you know what, mom? I'm a businesswoman. I got stuff to do. So I'm here to tell you all sorts of tips today. My little sister made this fan with her Zoom camp. Stay cool, kids. Stay cool. Tip, tip. I just want to say thank you for my two new followers, Mrs. Greenberg down the street. You rock. Also, Joe Kim, my favorite Chinese food delivery guy. You are awesome. Thanks for following. Tip, tip. Tip, tip, tip today is with Jared Sokoloff. Jared from my Zoom geometry class. Listen to me, you are so hot, Jared. You are so hot, the hair, never cut your hair. I know your mom wants to get your hair cut. Don't do it, it looks awesome. Tippy tip of the day, number three. For all you guys worried about going to high school, don't worry about it. I've been in high school for five years. It's so easy. You just gotta be nice to people and you find your people and you'll find your way. Just listen to Tippy. Tip of tips. Tippy tip of the day, number four, water. Good idea in the summer. Tippy tip of the day, number five. For all you boys trying to get at this, remember boys, time's up. No tippy tip for you. Especially not during a quarantine. Next tip of the day, goes to all the dads out there. You know, sometimes our girls have our time of the month and it's not that easy. And so you keep taking our, our lady products and you're hiding them. What are you doing? We need those things. So stop touching my stuff, dad. Stop leaving the seat open and stop bugging mom. Cause she, this time it's a section of our show where people write in asking for their tips. Gotta consult the computer. That's where technology is. This tip comes in from Timothy Blake. Timothy Blake asks, Tip, tip, what do I do if I'm being bullied? Well, I like to say eye for an eye. Get them back. That is tip, tips. But if you can't, running away is also good too. <laughs> John and Meeker asks, Tippy Tips, why do you suck so hard? And why is your show a bunch of shit? And won't you just leave this town and do something else with your life and stop off being crowded on my internet? Shannon Meeker, listen to me closely, Shannon Meeker, for your tip, tip, tip. You are so lucky that we are on Zoom school this year. <laughs> tip, tip. The parents keep asking me what I'm going to be when I grow up. And I think that this is the way to go. So, if you like my show, if you want to follow, if you want some more tips from Tippy and Tippy Tips, hit the like, hit the subscribe, smash it, smash it, and follow me. Because I'm going to be famous and I want you on my ride with Tippy Tips. The Tippy Tips show is currently looking for sponsors. So, like, if you got pizza or if, like, you could do my homework for me, that'd be cool. Hit me up. Comment below at tip tip. Shout outs today go to Rajiv Asangido. I'm not really sure if that's how I pronounce your name, but thanks for the heart last week, dude. Super cool, man. I don't normally get those. Not really sure where you're from or what you really said, but thanks, guys. Thank everybody for watching my tip tips of the day. I gotta clean my room before my mom yells at me this time. So, everybody, have a fantastic day. Stay inside. Watch your enemies, punk rock. I'll see you in the next time for another sad episode of Tip Tips. Each week, the Homemade Sketch Show presents a new musical guest. Here tonight with his new song, We Will Get Through This, from the finale of his self-isolation song cycle, may I present Seth Beeson Hirsch. Thanks, Jeanette. It's great to be here on the Homemade Sketch Show. Uh, this song is from my self-isolation song cycle. I put out a song a week uh, for the dozen weeks we were under the stay-at-home order. And this goes out and is dedicated to anyone who has been affected by this pandemic, which is pretty much everyone in the whole world.
system and we'll have a huge bash. It will be a grand smash when this is through. I swear it's true. We will get through this. Not as soon as we choose. We will get through this. Though sometimes we'll have the blues. We will get through this. Despite what they say on the news. <laughs> that is it! We did it! Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you really got a lot out of that. Woo! You're feeling your inner Beyonce. Oh, that music is iconic. Thanks for joining my Facebook Live. I'll see you all next week. We'll learn single ladies. Hi, Gabby. How are you doing this week? You know, I'm doing the same way everybody else is doing you know, kind of hard. Stop, Gabby. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, you looked at yourself again. Come on. You know therapy is just as much about listening as it is about speaking. Well, have you gotten any concrete evidence of this? Oh, good. You found something to distract you. You're just like a tiny, distractible child. What are you doing? Why are you answering this question to your reflection and not to her? Your reflection is not going to work through your problems with you. Seriously. We've been uh, through some hard times before with the industry and your choices inside it. Oof, that hurt. I wonder what I look like when I'm sad. Huh, that's my sad face. Hi, sad face. What would my sad face look like if I cried? No, I have no tears in the tank. I'm going on walks. Oh, my listening face is so good. Ugh, I know I shouldn't be looking, but damn, I have a great head nod going on. Learn that one in acting school. Do you think she knows I'm looking at myself and not her? When we'll be able to do things because I can't go inside their apartments, you know? You're looking at the camera a lot on Zoom. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I, I probably... Time to look at the inner self. Oh, God. She knows. She knows I've been caught. Listen, Gabby, what is she saying? Huh. I wonder if I should tell her this is what I'm doing during therapy. Is this my anxiety? Or is that my anxiety? Was oh, that my anxiety about my anxiety? Is that something you've thought about before? Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. I was listening. There's going to be a test and I'm going to ace it. If I have this the whole time or is it? I, I can't. Okay. 
can't even get used to it myself. I've never had to look at my therapy face before. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> it's okay. I, I mean... <laughs> I never looked at myself the entire time, so you're all good. <laughs> Therapy's hard. Hi there, it's Martha Vanguard, also known as Mrs. V, your friendly neighborhood piano teacher. Now, these have been some difficult times for me, definitely. I've lost some clients, but I thought I would take my unique skill set, my ability to create sick melodies and my uncanny ability to blurt out the truth and turn it into a business. Everyone loves singing telegrams, especially the joyful ones, but what about the messages that you really not share yourself? You'd rather someone else do the dirty work for you, maybe through song? Well, that's why I created Avoiding Serious Situations singing. Ass. Here are some examples. Oh, hi. I have a singing telegram for you. Hey there, Carol. This is Janice from across the street. Please mow your lawn and trim your hedges because you're bringing the property value down, bringing it down. Also, Who's that strange man that left your house the other night when your husband wasn't home? Is he in your bubble? Please let us know. And of course, you can reply to a singing telegram from Ass with another singing telegram. Of course, you have to pay for it. Or I can create it on spec and then just hope that the person who's receiving it will pay for it. They'll just be so anxious to hear it, they'll be willing to pay. Kind of like a collect call. Oh, hi! She sent one back. Mind your own freaking business, Janice. Don't worry about my family. Worry about your own. Get a life. And P.S. That swan fountain in your front yard is an eyesore. Ha! Ah! And of course, safety first. So if I'm not able to stand far enough back from the front door, I'll be wearing my protective equipment. Oh, hi, Steve. I have a little singing telegram for you. Steve, it's your roommate, Jason. And I'm getting really tired of your noise. Please turn it down. And please pay me back for Netflix and electricity. Okay, I'll just show myself out. So if there's a personal matter you'd really rather not deal with on your own, consider sending a singing telegram from Ass. We take the mess out of your message. show we hope you liked it uh turns out dresses are super uncomfortable and i may never wear one ever again true story so i'm back in my couch clothes i hope you are too if you liked tonight's episode please like please share please comment below let your friends know what you were watching tonight because we all know that you weren't outside doing anything <laughs> with other people you were inside watching some fun comedy with us and we thank you so much for being here. If you super duper liked it, maybe consider giving a tiny donation to the platform group, which helps other artists such as myself during these crazy economic times. Um, we don't have a lot of opportunities right now. So this is just a fun way to keep our creative juices flowing. And God knows we're all on unemployment and everybody also knows that it's $600 less than the month before. So anything you can do can really help us out. We appreciate that very much. We have a brand new episode for you next Friday, 6 p.m. EST on this YouTube channel. We hope to see you there. Have a great weekend, you guys. Stay safe and good night.